When you receive your greenhouse kit, you're probably wondering, how do I take this apart and put it together? So we're going to explain a little bit of that right now. Hi, I'm Ted Hallett, the Garden Master. So pay attention. We're going to go from here, from the kit that you receive, to a full installed greenhouse. When you get your kit, this is what it's going to look like, minus the uh, shipping wrap. And what you have here is the hoops. This is a, a 4x8 greenhouse, so you have three hoops. You will have your hardware pack, which is attached underneath. This is all the screws and, and uh, brackets that you'll need for the greenhouse. The legs to the greenhouse are actually suspended here in the center. These two outside pieces are actually the purlings that go down the center, top center of the greenhouse. If you have a 4x16, they'll be four of these. This one's a four by eight, so you only have two. And then if you look at the bottom here, there's two additional uh, pipe, and those are used for the, if you can see those on the bottom, those are actually used as the support uh, braces for your trellis system. Now these are all attached together with threaded rod and you will take the uh, nuts off all on one side, pull out the threaded rod and all of your pieces uh, then are able to be dismantled. You'll want to save the threaded rod and the nuts because you'll use those in the assembly of the greenhouse a little bit later. So that's uh, the package in a nutshell, so to speak. And from here, we'll go and we'll lay out and show you what tools you're gonna need uh, to construct your, your greenhouse. Here we are with the tools. I'm going to explain uh, what you need in order to put your greenhouse together. Uh, so we'll start here. We have them laid out at the bottom. The first thing you're going to need is a, a plumb level. Uh, they're fairly inexpensive, about $4 at your box store. And then a, a big rubber band to put around it. That actually holds it on your, your legs. We use these to drive the greenhouse legs in uh, plumb. The next thing you'll need is a what we call our, our leg pounder. And you can make one of these yourself. This is a one inch cap, galvanized cap, a reducer that goes from half inch to one inch, and then a, a three to four inch piece of half inch galvanized pipe. Uh, Teflon tape that, screw it together real tight so it doesn't vibrate apart when you're using it. Then of course you'll need a a little mini maul. You'll need a about a dozen six penny nails. We use those to mark mark out where the legs go. A pair of pliers. These are lineman pliers. You can also use a hacksaw. You'll be using this to cut off the excess uh, threaded rod. You then uh, can use a um, electric driver or you can use a ratchet it's quicker, but you'll need a half inch socket, a deep socket, and then also a 5 16 uh, nut driver. And this is basically for your self-tapping screws that hold the framework together. The half inch is for uh, tightening down the, the one inch U-bolts uh, that hold the, the purlings in place. A file uh, for filing off the sharp edges of your threaded rod when you install those and then a 5 16 uh, wrench. Uh, two of these would be nice uh, in order to attach your your um, support braces for your trellis system. And then from here we'll basically uh, continue and show you how we lay out and um, drive the legs and begin putting the greenhouse together. So we'll be right back with you in a few minutes. Well, let's talk a little bit now about how to lay out uh, the, the greenhouse over your growing bed. If you have a, a standard 4x8, you're going to have a, a 4x8 greenhouse. If it's a standard 4x16 growing bed, you're going to have a 4x16 greenhouse. And this is what we're working on today is a 4x16 greenhouse. You're going to need your tape measure and your six penny nails. You're going to center the 16 foot footprint of the greenhouse on your growing bed. So you'll take your first six penny nail, 
put it in the ground as we've done here at the 16 foot mark and then you'll also put one at the other end at the beginning you'll do one in the center at eight feet and then you split each of the eight feet by four feet so you have your hoops will be uh, evenly spaced uh, across the length of the greenhouse now for those of you that are outside of the area you're you're going to offset your center legs uh, by three inches uh, so, so rather than be on uh, uh, the starting post, then 4 feet, then 8 feet, then 12 feet, and then 16 feet, those center hoops you're going to offset either direction 3 inches so that they don't conflict with the couplers that hold the purlings together, which you'll see uh, later on in the video. So we've gone ahead and laid this out and already have put in our, our nails. We know that because of the ground cloth has uh, lines on it, where we're going to put it as far as centering it in the uh, greenhouse both widthwise and lengthwise and we simply use the six penny nail uh, to mark uh, where where that uh, leg is going to be that we're going to be driving in next. You'll also use your tape measure as a straight edge because it'll stay true uh, once we put in the two corner posts. Uh, we'll lay it up against there, use that as a straight edge to put in our center and then our other other two uh, with the 16 foot greenhouse you, you basically have five legs per side so we'll go ahead and lay the legs out and uh, we'll explain to you uh, how you begin that process next I'm going to now explain uh, to you how to start the installation process on the uh, the legs of the greenhouse as you can see here we've lined them out and uh, we have five of them uh, for a 4 by 16 foot greenhouse, five of them per side. Now there's uh, some specific things to look for on these legs. All of your corner legs are a little bit different, but every leg will have a mark that actually is 24 inches down from the top of the leg with an arrow pointing down. And the arrow pointing down means that's the, the direction it goes into the ground. If you look at the top of the, the leg, you'll see that there's a, a hole drilled in the leg and it's basically nine inches from the top. Only the corner legs have the holes drilled in them. And what, what the hole is for, this is where you're going to attach the uh, trellis support bracket with the threaded rod later on in the process. So only on the corners will you put, put these particular legs uh, on the, in the greenhouse and the installation. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how we install these. Now they can be turned once they're in the ground to line up your holes, so don't be concerned with that. Put them in the general direction. They should be pointing uh, parallel to the length of the greenhouse, but you can turn them if you need to with a pair of pliers uh, to line up the holes to attach the bracket. Now what you do, set the tape aside here, on your outside corners, all of your measurements are outside measurements. And that's to say that it's four feet wide outside the outside. It's 16 feet long outside the outside. Of course, if it's an eight foot greenhouse, it's four feet outside the outside, eight feet outside the outside. Today we're working on a uh, four by 16. So your corner post is going to be on the inside of your width measurements and your length measurements. So I'm going to put that right on my line. This is my uh, front line. This is my side line. So I'm gonna put it right in that square. Put a little pressure down and then just twist. And that will cut right through your fabric, a nice clean cut. Now I'm gonna just tap that in a little bit, to get it started. You'll need to attach your bracket. You gotta tighten this rubber band up a little bit. Just double it over, basically. You need to. I'm going to put it 
put that down here above my depth line. You want to keep your eye on that. And so that I can see basically uh, both bubbles. I'm going to put my post pounder in here. And now I'm going to, I want to hold it as plumb as possible to get it started. And it helps if you have a, an assistant that can hold it uh, plumb while you're pounding. But uh, my assistant's on the other end of the camera, so we'll, we'll work this way. You want a few hits and then check it. And keep your eye on your depth mark. You're driving pretty straight. All right. We're in there nice and plumb. So this one's uh driven and ready, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and drive the other corner post and then I'll be back to you after that to show you how to set your center and then the other two posts on the other side. So we'll be right back after I finish this other pounding. Okay, we've got the two corner posts set on, on this side of the uh, growing bed. Now we're going to uh, set the center uh, post and what we've done is taking our tape measure and span the two corners. Now your tape measure, uh, generally if you, you bounce a little bit, pull it tight, it acts as a perfect straight edge for this application. Uh, so we've done that so we know that we're going to be in line with the other posts and we're going to set our center post now. And uh, we're going to center this one and we're going to twist it to get cut through the fabric real nice. Then we'll start uh, pounding this one. Get it set up a little. Turn the level around for me. And then uh, we're going to be continue to drive this post. We'll set the other two posts that are properly spaced on the left and right of the center. Uh, again, using the, the tape as a, a straight edge to keep everything in line. And then uh, once we have the center one in, we'll use a, a piece of pipe and a level, or if you have a long enough level, a level between the corner and the center on this side and the corner and the center on the other side so that we can get everything as, as level as possible across the top of the of the um, lakes. So I'll go ahead and uh, drive this one in, then we'll come back and uh, we'll show you how to run your level across from the corner post to the center post, and then uh, we'll continue to, to uh, pound in the rest of the lake. So we'll be back with that in just a minute. 